G'day guys, I just wanted to do a quick video to just elaborate on the part one supplement video that I put together for the traction loss motor modification. So I wanted to show you how that new modification now is working, how it's working really well. So then those of you that are following the build in my other build tutorial videos can gain a little bit of confidence from me doing quite a lot of testing. I've been doing a few hours of testing since doing the modification. To get relevance on what I'm talking about, please have a look at the step-by-step -step build video part one on how to build my 3 degree freedom motion platform simulator. You'll see how the traction loss was originally set up and in the supplement part one video, you'll see how it's been modified. I had to modify it because the motor was too far forward on the platform, resulting in not as good as geometry as what it could have had. And as a result, it was just putting a lot more stress on the motor and it was causing the motor to sort of just pump a lot more amps into our IBT2 H-Bridge controller, and I burnt the IBT2 H-Bridge out. Um, so I've moved that traction loss motor now rearward, as you can see in this video, and I've been testing it, as I say, for a few hours now in the SMC3 utility software, which is our software that we can use to test out motion platform sim. I've got all my settings here for my traction loss motor running, running pretty high, like it's running pretty hot and it's doing pretty well. I'm gonna show you a couple of the tests here on the left. So these are the test modes. On the left here, it says uh, out mode. We've got monitor, square, triangle, sign, motion, and on manual. Where it's on manual, uh, that's where our little slider or our little tabs over here where the mouse pointer's on. That will operate your motion simulator manually by moving the slider or pressing on those tabs. Or if we use a square wave or a triangle wave or a sine wave or even the motion, that automatically moves our motion platform and gives you test parameters for getting your geometry correct. The motion test mode on SMC3 utilities, I believe is the closest emulation you get to in-game. It's quite violent when it's in motion. It really puts quite a lot of stress on the motors. So that's the one we'll be, we'll be running as well in a second so you can see how that works. And you can have a good look at how much traction loss we're getting on this motion platform with the new modification. It's not that much different to the old version where the traction loss motor was before but certainly it's moving a lot easier because the other upgrade i did was i did upgrade the casters so the new casters are just so much better because they're bearing and they're rated at 150 kilos each whereas the old casters were only rated at 75 kilos each these bearing casters are just far superior they're 100 millimeters in diameter as well and they're a really good polyurethane uh, wheel so they're very tough um, and very smooth operating. So without further ado, let's give this a go because I don't want people to feel stressed about the changes that have been made this because I don't want anyone with stress-related diseases, okay? We don't want that. So I'm here to show you that this is all working uh, very well and I'm certainly very happy with it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start in triangle mode. This uh, is quite a good test mode. It shows the full range of motion in the traction loss. All right, so I'm gonna start this. I'm going to take off and then I'm going to flip the camera around so you can have a look and see what is happening. Here we go. Okay. So as you can see, quite a good range of motion in the traction loss. I'm extremely happy with it. Um, and especially when I've really designed this motion sim platform to have a smaller footprint because I want to use this in a small room. That's where it has to go. So it can't take up a lot of space. Uh, and this is going to fit in the room I've got without any problems and still give me, I think, a really nice realism for traction loss. Love my traction loss. So, yeah, look, I'm really happy with this. The uh, Moving that motor to the back, upgrading the casters to bearing casters uh, and, and increasing their diameter has really been the ticket for uh, bringing this traction loss to life. I'm absolutely loving this. <laughs> and I cannot wait to get this application happening in game. So hopefully in the next couple of days, these IBT2 uh, motor controllers will turn up. And then when they turn up, uh, I can get them installed. Then I'll have my pitch and roll back. And I am going to be basically firing up SIM tools and firing up R Factor 1. I'm gonna test this in. All right, so as you can see, that's running. That's running really quite well. I'm not clipping too much on the voltages there in the yellow. And the triangles just shows the, the triangle waveform that we're running at the moment in the tests. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna stop this. Bear with me. Okay, there we go. What I'll do is I'll just run the motion for a little bit, give you a look at that. 
that's the one I say I think emulates what it would be like in game. It puts a lot of stress on the platform, a lot of stress on the motor. It really throws you around quite a lot. It's a bit scary, but at the same time, it's a hell of a lot of fun. So let's see how long we can run the motion before we might get some clip in our voltage. In motion, I've probably got a little bit more testing to do as far as the overall parameters in the SMC3 utility software goes. I might have to mild things down a little bit so that I can get a longer duration of testing in motion, which will give me more confidence going ahead uh, using this in game with SimTool. So I'll run motion, flick the camera around. You can have a look and see how that works. And uh, we'll talk to you guys in the next video. Here we go. I'd like to know where you got the motion from xsimulator.net. I'd like to know where you got the motion. Thanks guys for subscribing. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you in the next video.